Hello and welcome to Maple. We're going to talk about three main concepts today. The first one is what's the difference between text mode and math mode. Notice that when you open a new Maple document, Maple by default will be in math mode and this is evidenced by the slanted cursor. When you're in math mode, Maple thinks it wants to compute something. To start, we want to be in text mode. This allows us to write our name, the course name, and the assignment. Now, suppose we want to talk about something that has mathematical notation in it. So for example, um, maybe I want to tell you that um, the square root of 4 is 2. Now we could say that same sentence in mathematical notation and here's how we do it. On the left hand side there are many palettes and we can click on these triangles um, to open up a palette and in the expression palette there are a lot of nice uh, symbols here including the square root symbol. So we can type 4 to replace that letter A and now we have the square root of 4 and we can say equals 2. Now notice that when I do that, uh, Maple has converted to math mode. We don't want to be in math mode. We're not asking Maple to do any mathematics for us. We're just using Maple like a word processor. So we want to be in text mode. Okay. We can continue typing and so forth. Now, suppose on the other hand, uh, we want Maple to compute something. Maybe we want Maple to compute the square root of 4. So if we want Maple to compute the square root of 4, we need to be in math mode. Okay, so notice that I'm not in math mode. My cursor is a vertical bar. I'm also in text mode, so we know we're in text mode. To be in math mode, click on math and let's put our square root symbol in there. And now I'm going to hit enter and Maple computed the answer which is 2. Great. So that's a brief overview of the difference between math mode and text mode. For the most part you want to be in text mode if you're just writing up your homework um, and you want to be in math mode if you want Maple to do something. So let's take a look at some of the things that Maple can do. So the first thing is uh, Let's look at an example related to plotting. Uh, so as our first example, uh, let's plot uh, y equals 3x plus 5. Okay, so I'm just going to scoot this up a little bit on our screen to make more space for us. Okay, so to plot we need to be in math mode because we're going to ask Maple to do something for us and so we're going to say plot um, 3x plus 5 and Maple makes a plot which is wonderful. Now maybe um, we really don't like these um, y axis limits or the x axis limits. Maybe we want to plot um, over a region from negative 10 to 10 on the x-axis and negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. Well, we can go back to our plot command and give Maple some further directions. So we can say plot the function 3x plus 5 as x goes from negative 10 to 10. And we can say plot it as y goes from negative 10 to 10. So those set the upper and lower limits on our x and y axes. So we'll hit enter and notice that Maple did what we asked. It plotted from negative 10 to 10 on the x axis and negative 10 to 10 on the y axis. Okay, well great. Now let's do something fancier. I'm going to click on my plot and delete it and I'm going to delete my plot command. So let's start over. Let's do something different. Um, in this example, let's plot um, a quadratic and a linear function. So I'm going to be in math mode. And let's plot y equals x squared. So we can go over on the left-hand side of the screen here. x squared plus x minus 9 
click on text, and y equals x. Okay, so we're going to plot two functions. We're going to plot two um, different curves here, our quadratic and linear. So let's see how we do this. We need to be in math mode. We'll click on plot, or type in plot. And now since we have two curves that we're going to plot, we need to put them in square brackets. So the first curve here, you can copy and paste that. And then a comma to tell Maple we're going to do a second curve. And let's pause here for a moment. So we said, hey Maple, I want you to plot y equals x squared plus x minus 9. And I want you to plot y equals x. Okay and I close off my square brackets. And now I want you to plot this from x uh, going from negative 10 to 10 and y going from negative 10 to 10. Great! So Maple did that for us. Maple plotted both the quadratic and the linear uh, function. But, you know, it would be really nice if we had a legend on this plot because if we want to include this plot in a report or something, we want to tell the reader which curve is which. Now, there are lots of things you can do by right clicking on the plot, and one of those items you can choose is legend. The other way you can do it is uh, right up here, we can go into the plot command and we can say uh, legend so we can tell Maple that we're going to put in a legend we'll say legend equals square brackets and we're going to put in some quotes and the first thing we want to label is our quadratic so we could say okay here's the x squared plus x minus 9 business and then a comma for the second curve which is just uh, x and close that square bracket. So there we have our legend equals square bracket, close square bracket. We're all set. And let's hit enter. So now uh, at the very bottom of our plot, notice that Maple says that the red curve is the quadratic and the green curve is uh, y equals x. Now we can other do we can do other fancy things like we can right click on that green line and we could change the line, or we could change the color, um, and things like that. So there's even more that you can do here. The last thing I'd like to take a look at is uh, some of the computational power that Maple has. So I'm going to make more space for us. So let's say um, Maple's computational uh, power. So, you know, Maple's just not a tool for plotting, and it's not just a tool for typing up uh, mathematical notation, but it really can do things. It can do things like a graphing calculator can. So if we're in math mode, you know, uh, we can do things like add up numbers. Um, as we discovered, we can do things like the square root. Okay, but we can do some fancy things as well. Uh, for example, we could ask Maple to solve the following. So we could say solve x squared plus x minus 9 equals x. And we'll solve that for the variable x. Okay, so Maple gives us the solution uh, 3 and negative 3. We could have also solved this by hand ourselves, so I'm just going to copy paste that. Notice that I'm in text mode, so I can hit enter. If I were to solve this equation by hand, let's see, if we subtract x from both sides, then our next line down would be x squared minus 9 equals 0. Click on text mode. And now factoring this, that gives us x minus 3, x plus 3. And lastly, uh, we would say, well, okay, x equals 3 or x equals negative 3. Those are the, those are the solutions of, uh, of this equation here. And if we scroll back up, we can also see that Maple found those intersection points on our plot. Um, it didn't label those, but that's essentially where those 
two curves intersect so with the x axis the x coordinates of their intersection points. Well, great. Uh, there are many more things that you can do with Maple, and, and one area for learning more about Maple is the help menu. Um, for example, if you wanted to learn more about Legend, you can type that in and search, and it will give you all sorts of details and sample code for doing various sorts of plots um, or all sorts of things. So there's a wealth of information in here um, and I encourage you to look at the help menu uh, for additional examples as well.